today on how to fix the issue if Cricut decides to not cut an image that a Cricut Design Space decides not to cut an image that you wanted to cut. And I'll show you exactly what happens. I had this problem last night and kind of frustrating because I've spent probably three hours on the phone with them um, just for them to tell me that it means that the file is corrupted and they couldn't tell me why the file was corrupted or how it got corrupted just that it was corrupted at some point and I was unable to use that image, use that file and cut it and just to remake it. Well we all know that just remaking a file can be extremely hard. Um, fortunately this one is pretty easy, um, the one that wouldn't cut for me. But I mean there are some that you spend several hours making the file and putting a lot of time and details into it uh, where you just can't whip up a new file just like that. So I'll show you what happens. So when you go to make it, um, you click continue. This is what happens. This is the screen you get stuck on where once you push continue to cut it, it won't cut. It just gets stuck right here. And it's kind of strange because usually if it is corrupted, there'll be something that pops up on the top here that says file file is corrupted or you'll get some kind of error message but you don't get any kind of message with this and I tried it on Safari, I've tried it on Chrome and I've tried it on Firefox and all of the browsers give me the same thing so like I said I called Design Space yesterday, spent a couple hours on the phone with them or sorry I called Craig yesterday, I spent a couple hours on the phone with them just for them to tell me that this is um, a corrupt file so I will tell you what I did to fix that without having to remake the entire um, the entire file over. So you're gonna go to settings on the top left here, click no grid, and that's gonna give you this nice white background here. And you're gonna open up your screen as wide as you can. And you're gonna take a screenshot of this picture right here. Now I'm not sure how you would do it on a um, Windows computer, but on my MacBook Pro I push Command Shift and then the number four, and that gives me a little cursor here to select. So I'd select it. There we go. Click New Project. Upload. And then go to your recent, um, I'm not sure where your computer saves your recent screenshots, but mine gets saved right on my desktop. Click that image, and then you would have to um, make it into, make this JPEG screenshot into an SVG image. So click com complex and just kind of weed it out like, like you normally would an image, and there you would have your image again. So, not the easiest way, kind of frustrating, um, but I guess the easiest way of what you're going to get if you get something like this. Um, let's see here. I'm, not, I'm just going to do a quick job. I'm not going to weed the whole thing because I, I did this last night when it wasn't working. So you can see it's not perfect right now. Um, click on your cut image. I just want to show you how this changes here. And insert image. Go ahead and click make it. Continue. And there it is. Now it's looking for the Cricut machine. See, before it didn't even want to try to search for my machine. So that is it for today. Um, I really hope none of you ever have to deal with this message because it is a pain. So far I found three or four files that this is happening to where it's potentially a corrupted file. Um, if you have any questions on it, um, if you have any advice for anyone else, awesome, because um, this is the easiest way that I know. If you have anything different, just let me know, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy the weather. It's um, pretty chilly here. The last couple days, actually, I live in Wisconsin, the last couple days have been pretty warm in the 50s. Um, 
which is very unusual unusual for Wisconsin weather, um, considering a couple weeks ago it was in the negatives. Um, it's back down to about 13 now today, so pretty chilly. Um, but at least it's sunny out, so enjoy your day wherever you are. Um, let me know if you understood this video. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if it sucked, and you need me to explain it a different way.